to Season 2, Episode Number 29 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in the Impact Wrestling history with match number 22 on our list, which is the Impact Knockouts Championship match between the champion Jordan Grace and the challenger Deanna Perrazzo from the Impact Slammiversary 18 event held on July the 18th of 2020. Uh, now, this match officially holds the distinction of being the first match to appear on two different countdown lists, uh, as it was also featured in my top 50 matches of 2020, coming in at match number 29. So, obviously, this is a fantastic match. Um, Impact Wrestling really deserves to be championed, I find, for um, what they did for their women's division or their knockouts division uh, in a time that WWE you know, really didn't present the women in, in any good way, shape, or form whatsoever. You know, Impact, they, they didn't do much better initially. You know, if you look back at, at early NWA TNA, you know, you had Lollipop going topless and, and, and everything like this, right? But um, when they did, uh, when they eventually brought in Gail Kim, they really did start to shift. And although, you know, the Knockouts division, you know, wasn't, wasn't perfect, uh, they did give these women, you know, a, a far bigger opportunity to succeed in an in-ring position than WWE was doing at the time, especially, you know, Gail Kim and Awesome Kong um, and Nikki Rocks and, and all of these women, you know, that, that kind of started that division. Uh, this match, in my opinion, is the best knockouts match that TNA or Impact ever did. Um, it is a testament to how good both of these women are. Um, now, because this match, you know, appeared in an earlier list, I'm, I'm not really going to, going to give you too much play-by-play -play of it. You know, you can watch that video too if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, but really, what I, I appreciated about this match, and, and I believe I said this in the other video as well, is Impact really struggled during the COVID era. Um, you know, and it would be easy for me to not include a match, you know, from the past year plus on this list for that reason. Um, however, these two were so focused and so captivating with their match that in no way did I find my attention being paid whatsoever to the fact that there was no crowd in outer silence going around, uh, you know, um, around ringside. Um, and again, that just shows how excellent they are. This match had such a good basic story. I mentioned this before of Deanna just being so laser focused on Jordan's arm and essentially on this given night being a far superior wrestler. And that's not to say that Jordan's not incredible because she is. She is so strong. She is so good. Um, but Deanna's game plan just proved to be, you know, a step ahead of her. And eventually it was that arm that, that led her to locking in the Venus de Milo and getting the victory. Uh, this match, though... Both of these women at this point in their career are veterans. Jordan Grace especially, you know, she's been wrestling for a long, long time. But both of these women are so young. And it's, you know, with the culture around pro wrestling, you know, we, we have such a far way to, you know, to still come. And, and speaking out, you know, really showed that, um, you know, it's, it's a scary concept for, you know, women, especially very young women, um, to get involved with the wrestling business. Um, but you know, both of these women doing it the way they did, starting so young and being so experienced, but despite, you know, being at such a, a young age still, you know, I feel that they're really good, you know, examples for, you know, young women that you have now, like Billy Starks, you know, who's a, who's a teenager coming up through the independence, you know, to pattern herself after and, and you know, to, to look to as a role model. Uh, both of these women are so good. They're going to have very lengthy careers ahead of them. Uh, I'm sure this match was just the, the tip of the iceberg, you know, for, for what we're going to see from them, you know, over the next couple of years. And, um, you know, when, when both of these women were starting, you were starting to see, you know, that transition of, you know, there being really strong women on the independents like Sarah Del Rey and Mercedes Mar Martinez. And, you know, all of these women that... that you know, Jordan and, and Deanna would be able to aspire to be and look up to and potentially get to work. Um, you know, so many of those women were signed when WWE finally, you know, transitioned into that woman's evolution that, you know, it left a big void on the indies. But now you have Jordan and Deanna. And yes, you know, they're signed to Impact, but they do still compete on the independents. You know, they are now, you know, those women that will help the future, you know, up and coming women become so much better by getting a chance to work with them. And, and, you know, my hat goes off. I'm a huge fan of both of them. Um, you know, I, I mentioned it in the other video as well. This was a match that when it happened, it really didn't get a lot of buzz, but it's coming in. It's, it's the, in my opinion, the 22nd best 
of all time TNA or Impact matches. It is absolutely incredible. It is so focused. It is wrestling that I love to see. Um, I feel like it really, you know, slipped in under the radar in 2020. Um, and I watched it again. You know, I've seen this match quite a few times now for the various countdown lists I've done. Uh, but, you know, I watched it again for this project and it absolutely held up yet again. It is so good. Um, you know, the, the impact women's roster, you know, throughout the years, you know, there's been a, a number of, of fantastic matches. You know, if you haven't seen it, watch the matches between Gail and Awesome Kong or, or Gail Kim and, and Taryn Terrell, you know, had a fantastic series too. They did uh, at Slammiversary years prior. They did a fantastic, you know, last woman standing match. And it, it's all, you know, really good stuff that I, I recommend you, you look into it. And I'm sure it's all available on Impact Plus. Uh, but this match especially just shows that, you know, when you give two women a spotlight and you give them the time and you give them the position to deliver, they can do absolutely that. And on this given night, both of these women did that in spades. So like I said, this match is available on Impact+. Plus, You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube to ensure that you never miss a video. And please join me again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Top 50.